Depending on the size and type of your operation, you will likely need to hire some extra labor, especially during harvest. These extra hands help ensure your berries reach your customers at the peak of quality. Well, uh, how do we handle the labor on our pre-pick sales? Uh, we go with a, uh, for picking, we've got two crews, two types of crews. We've got uh, one field workers that we get on the H-2A program from Mexico is one crew. And the other crew is uh, Asian uh, women uh, that we get through an employment agency in St. Paul. And it's usually the same, same women every year. It could be 20 to 30 uh, uh, women and uh, they pick strawberries in the morning, you know, till uh, noon or one o'clock, and then they help in the processing of the strawberries in the afternoon. We've got uh, van drivers and, uh, and people that are checking the, the uh, berries over when they get down to our processing area. You know, you could have, uh, at the most, you know, 30 to 40 pickers on a given day, but then the, the, the whole uh, enterprise for the processing might take 50 or 60 people because there's uh, other people in the processing area waiting for berries to come down and your drivers and your staff. It, it takes you know four or five people just to work with the 30 that are picking to keep everything moving. We use a lot of, uh, a lot of foreign labor. Yes, uh, we bring them from many areas of, of the world. Um, everything that we currently bring in is under uh, an agricultural visa program. It's called the H-2A program. We have a lot of people. We probably bring 70, 75 people here on visas, and then we hire a substantial amount of local help also. I think it all begins with training your worker, uh, where you're training them in terms of pesticide handling, pesticide usage, uh, uh, exposure to uh, hot, sunny conditions, uh, heat stroke, all of the different things. Those are things we should be teaching our help before they ever go to the field. And then it helps to, uh, you know, get, get some good crew leaders and uh, reinforce your teachings that you've delivered in, in, in prior meetings. And, uh, um, and most of all, remember that it, this is a team. Uh, you know, we don't, we don't do things by ourselves. Our, our work is way too hard to do things by ourselves. We work as a team and we deliver as a team. And uh, when things don't happen, we suffer as a team. But uh, building a strong team is, is very, very important.